Welcome to Dr. Vernita Educates. I am Dr. Vernita and I am the CEO and founder of Glen White Global Solutions. And my mission in life is to transform the learning experience of one billion students. So I just watched my playback and I realized that yes, I have my little clip here, but the jack wasn't all the way into um, the recording device, my phone. So you will hear the lovely airplane, the people talking in the background, but pay attention to the message and not the noise. Okay, back to the video. So today I was gonna do something informal. I didn't wanna get caught up in trying to make this video perfect because the thought just came to me today. It is Black History Month. And I was gonna talk about the trials and tribulations of being um, a professor on the tenure track and the entire tenure promotion process, but then I thought about it. The fact that I have to, I have, I want to talk about my struggles on the tenure track. I had to take a step back and realize, oh my gosh, I'm actually a professor. So let's stop right there and celebrate that moment because although we've made significant progress as Black Americans. It is still not, um, we're still not a, a driving force in higher education. So I want to talk about two women that I just came across because like I said, this video was like on, like spurred the moment. I was sitting at a luncheon today at one of my organizations and we had a guest speaker and the guest speaker is a podiatrist. And she was talking about something with mathematics, mathematics and she said, I wish that there were more women in mathematics. And then one of my other colleagues, she was like, oh my gosh, I just, just math is not my thing. And I was listening to the conversation back and forth and I could tell that the podiatrist, she was a little annoyed because she was saying that, oh my, I wish that there were more women. And her husband is at my institution and he teaches in the mathematics department. So I sat there for a little bit, letting that conversation go by. And then I interjected and said, well, I'm in mathematics. And her eyes lit up and she said, really? Now my colleague knew this, but she didn't say anything, but that's okay because I have my own voice. And I said, yes. And she said, well, which department? And I said, I'm in the education department, but I'm also, um, I have a dual role in the mathematics department. And the look on her face, she was just like, thank you, finally. You know, she was like, I wonder what the problem is. And even with my colleagues standing there, I said, well, one, you have people saying, oh my gosh, I'm just not a math person all the time. And that, you know, people hear it constantly, especially young girls. And then I also said, and then she said, well, it's also with the parents at home, because if their student says, oh my gosh, I'm just not a math person, then their parents or guardians are like, well, that's okay. And then I said, it's also with teachers. If teachers aren't strong in mathematics, then they're going to project that onto their students, whether consciously or, or um, subconsciously. So through that whole process, I thought about, hmm, what does it really mean to be a professor? And I was almost about to complain about my struggles. Then I had to realize that a lot of women fought to be in my position. So I'm going to tell you about two of them. I'm Sarah Jane Woodson Early. She was born in 1825 as a free black woman in Ohio. At 27, Sarah Jane enrolled in Oberlin College. And the interesting fact is I was 27 when I started my PhD program in mathematics education. Sarah Jane enrolled in Oberlin College, she was the, which was the first college to open for both women and black Americans. Sarah Jane earned a bachelor's degree in 1856, becoming one of the first black women to graduate from college. After graduation, Sarah Jane was hired in, in 1858 to teach English at Wilberforce University. Wilberforce University was founded in 1856 and is the oldest historically black college and university in the United States. This was also the first HBCU to be owned and run by black Americans. Sarah Jane was considered to be the first black American professor, even though she was not given the official title. She was, however, a college instructor and a member of the college faculty. Sarah Jane was the only black woman to teach at an HBCU before the Civil War, where she taught Latin and English. And I thought that was very interesting. Like, it's 1856, and she was the first black woman professor, even though she didn't have the title as professor. Now, to the outside world, 
All people know is that you teach out of college, not knowing that there are, are a lot of ranks from lecturer, associate lecturer, instructor, assistant professor where I am, working on my tenure promotion to associate professor, and then you have from associate professor if you decide to move on to full professor. So inside the ivory tower or in higher education, those titles do matter. But on the outside world, people are like, oh my gosh, you teach at a university. That is so awesome. And I found it interesting that 164 years later, about 164 years later, we're still celebrating the first black female in something. So I want to talk to you about Dr. Olivet Otelli. I hope I said that correct correctly. She was she is the first black female professor of history in the United Kingdom and she's at Bristol University. First black still to start her appointment in January 2020 at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom and there she will be talking about the, the impact of slavery in the Bristol community and I thought that was interesting like while I was almost about to complain about the tenure promotion process the fact that I can be a professor and then this Black History Month, and I get to be able, and I'm able to share that. I thought that was amazing, and I just wanted to stop by and share those two nuggets of Black History, and knowing that I am also a part of Black History, that is super amazing. So no more complaining about being on the tenure track process. Well, not out loud, but I'm now I'm just going to rejoice in the fact that I am able to call myself a college professor, a Black female college professor, a Black female college professor who te also teaches mathematics. So the fact that I was almost about to complain about my role in the tenure track process, I had to stop and think about, hey, you're at least a college professor. Look how many people have attempted to do what I've done. Look how many people who fought for me to get where I am. And look that we're in 2020 and people are still becoming the first black something and one that lets you know that we've made progress but two that's still kind of sad that we haven't made the progress that we would hopefully would have made since um, Sarah Jane was in the early appointment in 1856 so thank you for watching Dr. Vernita educates I hope you took something from that regardless of where you are think about what it took to get you there and celebrate the fact that you are there so thank you for watching and continue with me on my journey as we transform the learning experience of 1 billion students.